The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. Our Stock of the Day had to be a retail darling of the market that reported this morning. JB High Five, when everyone's saying consumer discretionary is down, economy trending into a recession, uh, jobs market looking pretty weak. JB High Five came out with a blockbuster result. Uh, sales came in $9.6 billion, uh, net profit $439 million. Earnings, though, decreased 11%, management taking up its ability to manage the cost of doing business despite inflationary cost pressures. Also, JB Fire Hires entered into an agreement um, to buy E&S Training Co- uh, Trading Company, um, which is basically in um, um, uh, sort of household goods, if you like, uh, for a cash consideration of $47.8 million. On top of all that, they're going to pay a special dividend of 80 cents a share on top of the final dividend of $1.03. Uh, um, and uh, the market liked it up 8% today at a time when retailers are out of favour. Um, ben, what was your... So if you look at the 11% drop in earnings and you think, oh, the market would be disappointed, but they thought it was a great result. And they've got the extra cash they're giving out as a special dividend. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's always a good reminder that earnings season is not about how well on face value you report, it's how you report versus what the market was expecting you to report. But, you know, I, I, I listened into a bit of this call. Um, this was a very strong, clean result. I'd summarise it as it, it um, if you look at the um, uh, analyst estimates, there's a number that follow this company. Um, it was a beat on expectations. But what was the surprise was that the second half was a lot stronger than expected. And so the second half came in about 9% ahead of analyst expectations on an, at the EBIT line. Um, and, you know, the cash flow generation of this business was very strong as well. Uh, so look, you know, quite amazing, $73. It's, it's been an extraordinarily good business to own. And, I, you know, I think it's a good example that um, retailing, like it, it's a tough, it's a tough backdrop out there, but the good management teams will find a way to keep growing a business. And, you know, JB's been a great example of that. Really strong balance sheet. They've got that balance sheet flexibility to pay a special dividend in a weaker period. You know, so um, it's a big tick for What do you me. think um, of the acquisition, I, though? Uh, it, it's fairly small in the scheme of things. I mean, you know, they, they made that move into home appliances um, with the, the good guys um, acquisition they made a number of years ago. So I guess that helps them to keep building out into that area. Um, look, I, 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 I don't think overall it's going gonna, it's gonna to move the right. needle too much, but it does bulk up that part of the business. Yeah, 10, 10 stores in Victoria, uh, E&S, upmarket kitchen, laundry and bathroom retailer. So yeah, fits yeah. into the good guys thing. So what would you do? Here is retail under pressure, uh, environment's horrible, consumers aren't spending, unemployment's likely to go up, and here's a stock at an all-time high. Yeah, so, and, and I, I, I just think the narrative, you've just got to be wary of the narrative because for this business to have actually grown its sales by 1% versus what was a very strong year the year before where there was a lot of restocking and you know, working from home and people fitting out home offices and all these sort of things. So that's an extraordinarily good effort. Um, so, you know, like I'm not as doomsday as a lot of people in right. terms of the pain out there. I, I, I think the more results I'm seeing, and, you know, car sales is another one I point to today, um, that the good companies are bucking the trend okay. and they're fine. So would grow. you be buying JB Hi-Fi at these levels? No, I, I, it's it's a hold at these levels. It's a great business. I, it's actually probably even a bit of a skin, I'd say, at these levels. So take um, profits. Take a bit of money off it, but it, it, you know we don't own it. It's one that's got away, and that I look back on and wish I had bought it some stage in yeah. the past. But um, um, I'd be very happy having it in my portfolio if I okay. had bought it. Then. Nathan, they also reported sales for July, so the first four weeks of the 
New financial year up 5.6% for JV Hi-Fi, 2.7% for the good guys. Yeah, um, you can see why RBA said uh, no red cuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you look at the sales growth and go, oh, look, these guys are one of the best retailers. They, you know, apart from Chemist Warehouse, they shove more stuff in front of your face when you walk in per square meter than anyone else. Yep. Um, they are very good at it. Um, and they've been in the cycle. And, you know, back in the day, uh, the good retail analyst always told me, when rates are going up, you buy retailers. When rates are going down, you sell retailers. Right. They're cyclical for that reason. Now, the reason that RBA said, don't expect a rate cut uh, by December, uh, is because of this. People are still spending. Everyone yep. is just spending on debt, and everyone's got more debt than ever before. Yeah, but retail sales aren't that aren't as strong as JB Hi-Fi is. No, I think JB Hi-Fi is one of those ones where uh, people tend to buy when they don't, things that they want to buy, not discretionary to a certain extent. They're buying technology, they're right. buying gifts, and we're going through a school holiday. Um, and the biggest spender is grandparents, and the grandparents are buying for the kids, uh. and it kind of works in that way. So has the numbers been good? Great. Now, is that going to be, it, it was interesting what happened with retailers after the, when the rate rise started to play out. Initially, they all went weak because everyone looked at forward-looking data, Yeah. right? And minute that bottomed out and then the hikes didn't go as much and the spending didn't get curtailed, then suddenly everyone started looking at the backward-looking data. And the backward-looking data still looks great, yep. right? And the good ones in retail, you can see a separation. The good ones are killing it the bad ones are collapsed, right? It got smashed in this yeah. market. So for me, it's still a thematic of what is going to happen rather than what is not. Now, the reality is if this retail sales type number continues, RBA will have no option but to hike. Now, the RBA chief basically told you, stop spending. If you I don't, know, I'm going to hike. They mainly, she mainly said, government, stop spending. Well, you're... It, you're you're We're, the politicians, you're yeah, the well, ones with the big infrastructure projects, you're keeping construction costs up, you're keeping the labour market They put the money tight. into the system and the consumers then spend it. And, yeah. and the reality is most people, because they're spending pretty much everything, these things are going straight into retail. Right. And so in reality, it's a catch-22. If these retail sales remain strong, rates are likely to go up than yeah. down. So it's kind but of a retail scenario. retail sales aren't staying strong. Yes, they are because of migration. Migration, sort of, but, inflation. But per capita, it's... Oh, we're in recession per yeah, capita, right? Yeah, yeah. So it, it, this is the weirdness in the cycle. So unfortunately, as long as these remain strong, right. RBA doesn't have. So in, in, a, in the sector, I think the good ones, they look at JB Hi-Fi Hi as an example. 12 months ago, had 8% short. Yeah. So it's just been short covering all the way, every week. Right. And it's down to 2%. And I'm... Not surprised today with that special deal, the last 2% is getting flushed out. Right. So once that gets out, then we will, people will start paying attention to uh, valuation. The good ones have had a great run, but look at Premier Investment. They've started to go sideways in the recent months because it's priced for a fair bit. Right. So I think that's where we are with JB Hi-Fi. So you're are you a sell? Oh yeah, it's a cyclical stock. Right. <laughs> this is retail. I don't care how good you are, you're a cyclical. Right. Take your money, go somewhere else. Cyclical into, you know, we're worried about US recession. If US goes, it drags everyone else. With slow um, global growth, Australia gets affected. I think consumers, we're at, you know, we're at probably close to the peak. Whether it lasts another couple of months or not is a side issue. We don't know when things start to crumble. Right. You can see the unemployment going up globally. So you've got to be careful here. And if you're there, you've done really well, you should start taking profit. Yeah. Uh and not get out altogether? I would be getting out, but right. most people probably won't because it's a winner and people think winners just keep running, right? Yep. But it all comes down to the multiple okay. encyclicals. All right. That's our stock of the day. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.